of the neighbor and you tried your router tried to establish BGP peering session but actually the other router is not really using BGP currently your router will stuck in active state most of the time so um, if you see the neighborship in either one of these states idle or active this means that you have a problem otherwise you should see it as established and you should be seeing uh, prefixes being exchanged between two different um, neighbors so let's talk a bit about simple configuration uh, right here I have three routers router 1 2 and 3 and as you can see I have multiple physical connections for example between router 1 and 2 I have serial and fast Ethernet connections um, between router 1 and 3 I have fast Ethernet and serial uh, connections um, each one of these routers has LAN segments actually these are loopback interfaces that emulating um, LANs okay um, just to advertise some networks over to other routers in this implementation I'm gonna put router 1 and 3 in autonomous system 13 router 2 will be in autonomous system 2 so both router 1 and 3 are in the same autonomous system under the same technical administration belonging to the same ISP whatever you name it on the other hand router 2 belonging to other autonomous system so um, to do this we need to configure uh, BGP on all uh, routers of course and um, these three lines of configuration should be implemented on router 2 for example you use from the global configuration you use the command router BGP then the autonomous system number and you need to be clear about specifying the correct autonomous system number in the process uh, in the router BGP command then you need to specify the IP address of your neighbor uh, using the neighbor command then the IP address of the neighbor and you need to be correct about the autonomous system being used using the keyword remote hyphen autonomous system or AS so um, let's do this and let's view how exactly BGP is being configured on uh, our routers I have terminal server connection or I have a router that is connected to all three routers okay I'm using putty as a terminal emulator and let's verify the connections between router 1 and 2 uh, using the ping command so I'm gonna ping over to 192.168.12.2 um, I'm pinging from router 1 right here okay I'm pinging the IP address of serial 0 slash 1 which is in network 192.168.12.0 and um, let's verify yeah <clears throat> ping is successful let's verify the other link which has an IP address of 192.168.21 and router 2 has the 2 IP address and it is successful as well I don't think that I have any um, routing protocols configured whatsoever um, show IP protocol yes uh, I have no routing protocols being configured on router 
uh, one, two, or three. Let's verify. Can okay, look, guys. Um, I have this do in my blood. Okay, so uh, I use it all the time, and I always forget that I'm in the privileged mode. So just you know, um, just bear with me, okay? Because actually, I, I do love it. <laughs> anyway, so um, let's verify connectivity over to router 3 over to IP address 192.168.13.3. Successful in 31, which again as another connection between router 1 and 3 this is the fast ethernet 0 slash 1 on router 1 and router 3 so probably I have everything uh, working at least at layer 3 layer 1, 2 and 3 um, have no problem ping over to 192.168.23 the three I'm pinging from router two over to router three over the um, fast Ethernet connection right here and it says that it is successful so um, current currently I have no problem um, communicating between routers so uh, I guess we could start configuring router two okay to do so I'm gonna go over to the global configuration mode and from the global configuration mode I need to specify the autonomous system number after router BGP and I'm gonna be in autonomous system 2 and hit enter and by the way most of the routers we're gonna be dealing with can only be in one autonomous system all right so um, if you ever gonna try another autonomous system the router will refuse so for example we already uh, specified router BGP2 so we are currently in autonomous system 2 so you can just go over and use autonomous system 3 okay it will tell you that BGP are already running in autonomous system 2 so this is a nice thing to um, remember or actually a nice reminder as well Cisco iOS um, warning right here so um, we agreed that we need to specify the neighbor and I'm gonna use the IP address of the serial connection between router 1 and 2 192.168.12.1 remote hyphen AS 13 and hit enter okay now I have configured just one neighbor uh, let's verify that I'm gonna use show IP BGP summary command and it says right here that I have um, neighbor has IP address of 192.168.12.1 we are using BGP version 4 which is the current version this neighbor is or actually located in uh, autonomous system 13 zero message being received or sent um, no messages in queues we have never been related to each others or actually the relationship um up and down how many times no actually never been up um, and the state currently is active and no prefixes received um we said that if we have a route to reach to our neighbor it's actually wisp we have specified the ip address of the neighbor being 192.168.12.1 and um, the neighbor did not respond yet so now we are in active state okay this is because actually we have a route to reach over to the neighbor if we are to 
show the routing table, we will find out that the 12 network is directly connected. So we have a route to reach to any IP address that has 192.168.12, wherever. Okay, so we have a route, but we still will need to configure router one so we could have an established state between router one and router two. To do so, um, I'm gonna go over to router one and configure it. But before doing this, I'm gonna configure another neighbor, neighbor 192.168.23.3, and also this this neighbor is an autonomous system 13, and hit enter. All right. So now I've configured router two to have neighbor ships with two routers, router three and router one. And both should be active state or in active state. Um, let's go over to router one and configure BGP using the router BGP command and specify the correct autonomous system number otherwise router 1 and router 2 will not be able to communicate with each others why because actually I have specified that router 1 and autonomous system 13 when I have configured the neighborship statement on router 2 right here I have specified that 12.1 okay as an autonomous system 13 and also i want you guys to be aware that this is the ip address that router 2 is expecting to be doing relationship with and receive messages from okay so this ip address right here need to match the ip address being used as a source in the messages coming from this neighbor otherwise they will not form neighborship okay so we need to be aware of using the correct ip address and the correct autonomous system number and let's hit enter i need to configure the neighborship relationship on both routers not just one of them okay and this is very important thing by the way because right now i have configured no neighbors on router a uh, router one and to verify that i'm gonna use the show ip e uh, bgp summary command and as you can see we have nothing in the bgp summary table okay let's configure neighbor on router one and let's specify the IP address of router 2 remote hyphen AS and let's specify the correct autonomous system number router 2 is belonging to which is autonomous system 2 now if I'm gonna use the same command again we still in the active state but soon we should be seeing a log